free the Uhuru Three. Dismiss all charges. Three major radical figures are in the crosshairs of the U.S. government, allegedly for unregistered foreign agents of a foreign government, Russian. They are Chairman Omali Yeshikala, head of the African People's Socialist Party, headquartered in St. Petersburg, Florida, and two of his assistants, Penny Hess, and Jesse Neville. The three are charged with being unregistered agents because they wrote or spoke out in defense of Russia's position in the world today. But so what? Aren't people free to speak their minds or write what they wish against U.S. government policy? Aren't they protected by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. When Chairman Yeshitala appeared in court in May of 2023, he did so in handcuffs and leg irons for holding an opinion. So I guess if you're a radical, the First Amendment doesn't really apply. Consider this. Shortly after a Yeshitala's arraignment in irons, a U.S. Senator, former Foreign Affairs Chairman Bob Melendez, was charged with not only being an unregistered foreign agent, but of allegedly receiving thousands of dollars, a sports car, and even gold bars from several foreign governments. And guess what he wore to court? I mean, besides an expensive suit. So much for equal justice under law. And while both Yeshitala and Melendez are roughly the same age, one is a black radical and a freedom fighter. The other is a wealthy, politically connected politician. Guess who got the chains? But the First Amendment, the freedom to write or say what one wishes, to which we say free the Uhuru Three, dismiss all the charges with love, not fear. This is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Prison Radio.